Today we'll be giving you a full tour of our greenhouse. We'll be showing you what's growing in the month of July and what's not growing. We'll also be giving you a couple of tips to improve your greenhouse gardening. Hello and Asalaamu As Alaikum. If you're new to our channel, I'm Akib Allah. I'm Ali Raja. Asalaamu As Alaikum. If you enjoy the types of videos that we make, you should definitely consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. This year we're growing different types of vegetables inside this greenhouse to see how they do. We are growing bitter gourd inside this greenhouse for the first time. They're not doing as good as we expected them to. At the beginning we had pollination problem. It was difficult to get the, to attract the bees inside. But finally, we're getting some bitter gourds. Oh, these are beautiful looking um, bitter gourd. This variety we planted last year. The best way to describe this one would be like a long cucumber. Yes. And, and, and they grow up to about uh, 10 to 11 inch, 12 inch tall. So this is really beautiful. It looks like a spiky cucumber. It looks like a spiky cucumber. And this variety here, this is something new that your mum's growing this year, planted this year. The best way to describe them would be um, like a deshikira. They grow up to about one and a half inch tall and uh, it's a round shape um, bitter gourd and uh, mashallah we're getting quite a few of them yeah we're getting quite a few yes and they're looking really nice growing bitter gourd in the UK is not difficult you could grow them inside the greenhouse or outdoors you could grow them in a container or out into the ground if you want to know how to grow bitter gourd you should watch our video how to grow bitter gourd from seeds to harvest. We'll leave the link in the description down below or you can click the eye up here and it will take you straight to that video. To attract pollinators into your greenhouse, keep all the windows and doors open. Add some hanging baskets with some beautiful, colorful flowers such as this. And that should attract bees and insects into your greenhouse. Or you could try hand pollination. Yes, so if you, if you don't have enough bees coming into your greenhouse, you may need to um, do hand pollination. hand pollination. If you have been following our videos, you would know that we had a bottle gourd plant in here. And mashallah, we had great success with it. We harvested two beautiful hoddles in the first week of June. We planted our bottle gourd this year, I think on the first week of March, inside this greenhouse. And after giving us four beautiful looking um, hodus, um, the plant began dying. So we've taken the plant out and we have planted a uh, couple of um, sisinda uh, um, on its place in this area. And mashallah is, is doing really well. It's started to, the sisindas are starting to come out. Yeah, the sisinda is um, starting to flower and starting to fruit. Now again, we are planting, we, we've planted this inside the greenhouse for the first time. And we don't know how this will turn out. I hope we do well. I hope we do well. So it's giving us sisindas. We've already had success with sisindas this year. We've harvested our first snake gourd a few weeks ago. We've made a video sharing with you a delicious recipe with sisinda and prawn. If you want to watch that video, we'll leave the link in the description down below. Or you can click the eye up here and it'll take you straight to that video. Cucumbers, cucumbers and more cucumbers. Just from one plant, we had so many cucumbers and it's still producing. We had a bumper harvest. Tips for growing cucumbers inside the greenhouse. Get the right variety. Get the variety that grows well inside the greenhouse. Read the back of the packet to see if the variety grows well inside the greenhouse. And make sure to allow uh, plenty of air inside the greenhouse. Keep the window, in a hot day, keep the windows open. And doors open. Keep the doors open and water regularly. And uh, you should, cucumbers do well inside the greenhouse. Greenhouse, yeah. This is such a big cucumber. Yes. Just look at this. Oh, I like that. Cucumber, this is beautiful, doesn't it? It's so big. Yes. Wow. 
We love growing eggplants. We are growing plenty outdoors and some inside the greenhouse. This is one of the plants that we are growing inside this vegetable patch in the greenhouse. And it's starting to flower. Yes, I can see it's starting to flower. Now we haven't had a great success this year. I mean, last year we had a fantastic season for eggplant. The weather in the UK has been very unpredictable this year. Only last week, it rained so much, our garden was flooded. There was water everywhere. And we had cold weather up to the end of June. It's just really bad. But we're doing really well inside the greenhouse. Uh, behind you, we have another, another bottle gourd plant. And mashallah, look at those beautiful looking bottle gourd. <laughs> the, the, these, um, these bottle gourd plants are called apple gourds. Yeah, but these are special um, varieties and known as apple apple gourds. They're these are, coming up really nicely. These are beautiful. And this plant we planted about six weeks ago. And mashallah, they're coming beautifully. This one looks really nice. Wow. And we planted this in this, conta uh, in this large container. container. And it was only six weeks ago. And um, it's trailed onto the trailers nicely and it's producing beautiful looking gourd. Now, Dad, I can't wait to harvest them. I, I, think, it, well, I think we'll wait another couple of days before we yeah, uh, harvest uh, these uh, gourds. Bottle gourd does grow well inside the greenhouse, provided you could give them plenty of air coming into the greenhouse, leave the doors open and uh, water regularly you must water regularly inside the greenhouse it gets really hot inside the greenhouse it can get very hot inside the greenhouse now today is quite mild it's uh, the temperature is around 22 Two. 22 degrees so imagine when the outside temperature is 28 the inside temperature would be around i don't know 40 so you have to have plenty of air coming in you might even have to put the fan on, fan on. Yeah, use the fan. Uh, Sometimes we use the fan to keep the greenhouse cool. And it's best to um, spray mist a lot. Spray, uh, spray your mist uh, every day uh, to keep the plant cool. cool. Don't they look beautiful? Dad, if you ask me, they look more like a pear. Yes, they look more like a pear. Yeah. But I can't complain. We're still having good. So, Aki, what else are we growing this year? We are growing plenty of chilies. As you know, we love growing chilies. We are growing some of the hottest chilies in the world and we are growing lots of different varieties of tomatoes. Chilies and tomatoes do well. They grow really well inside the greenhouse. As you know, we love growing chilies. We are testing out different methods. We are growing chilies in the ground. We are using the hydrophonic method. We are growing chilies upside down and we are growing lots of chilies in containers and we seem to be very successful. We are having good success with our chili growing as always. We always have lots of chilies. And these are some of the hottest chilies in the world. Naga chilies, Carolina rippers. Ghost peppers. Ghost peppers, Trinidad scorpion, and plenty more. If you want to know how we grow chilies, we made many videos on how to grow chilies at home. We will leave the link in the description down below, or you can click the eye up here and it will take you straight to that video. Tomatoes grow really well inside the greenhouse and we are getting lots of tomatoes. If you want to grow tomatoes like this and have a bumper harvest, you should check out our last video, How to Grow Tomatoes from Fresh Seeds is a really helpful video, it has tons of information. We will leave the link in the description down below or you can click the eye up here and it will take you straight to that video. That looks amazing, don't they? Yes, these are some of the golden tomatoes. We've been harvesting tomatoes for the past few weeks and um, I really love eating the homegrown tomatoes. 
They're so satisfying and they taste beautiful. It they taste so juicy. They... I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to like our videos. And please don't forget to leave us a comment. It will motivate us to make our next video. Stay safe. Asalaamu As Alaikum. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoy the type of videos that we make, you should definitely consider subscribing to our channel. Happy gardening. Assalamu alaikum and I'll see you in the next one.